What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Split Second Tech video. Today, we're talking dark mode. Roll the intro. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one of the worst things that I hate is turning on my computer screen early in the morning just to sear my eyes with a bright white screen. Unless you're my local Arby's down the street that decided to replace their Mountain Dew with Coke products. That, that's definitely worse. Moral to the story, dark mode is your friend and easier on the eyes, at least for me. Moving on. To enable dark mode on your Mac, you're gonna want to go up into the top left-hand corner and left-click on the Apple icon, opening up your Apple menu. From here, go ahead and left-click on System Preferences. And then we're gonna go ahead and search for the option that says General. Once you found it, go ahead and double left click on General. This is then going to bring up our general options and you can see right here at the top, we've got Appearance, we've got Light, Dark, and we've got Automatic. Light is of course the theme that you're seeing right now. Dark mode is what we're going to be swapping to here in just a moment. And then Automatic will dynamically change your light and your dark mode themes based on your current location's day and night cycle. So during the day through sunset is going to be light mode and then during the night all the way through sunrise is going to be dark mode and you can kind of adjust how you want it through there. So if we go ahead and swap and left click on dark, you're gonna notice that the menu bar at the top here, our Mac mail, our notes, our reminders, all of these windows moved into a dark mode style. And then of course, if you wanna go back, you can then left click on light and it will change everything back to a light colored theme. Or if you do want to try out the automatic, just left click on auto and then it's going to automatically start adjusting, but you will want to have location services enabled so it can dynamically change if you're doing traveling or whatever you're doing, that it can automatically swap between the two. As I mentioned, I like dark mode, so I chose dark, but of course you can go in and you can change the setting at any time. And that is it, a quick and simple swap, way easier than going in and changing your entire drink selection. Just saying. And that wraps up today's split second tech, bringing us into our question of the day. Are you a Coke or a Pepsi person? No water doesn't count. Leave your answers in the comments section below the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that we have. Subscribe, hit the bell icon if you haven't already, and we will see you on the next one.